Hello everyone, welcome to my country farmhouse sewing room. I'm Marne, and today is a new dawn, a new day, and a new year. Um, we all out there are trying to uh, make our sewing spaces better and improve, organize, and all that. So it's taken me a while to, since Christmas, since my last video. Um, I wanted to get on here because I have been busy rearranging and reorganizing my sewing space. And this kind of all happened by accident. Um, me and Jim were in here quilting one night and we were talking about my sewing space because I have a desk that was um, face the wall and I have all these sewing machines in, in the room and I have friends over and I feel like I've always had my back turn to everybody so I got this crazy idea that I wanted to make a new desk and today I would like to tell you about it so I'm a huge uh, Pinterest fan and I was on Pinterest the night that Jim and I were talking and I found this beautiful like island and it was almost like made out of a dresser um, and I remember the price was like $400 and I was like man that's a steep amount for you know a sewing desk I was like I could do this myself so I DIY'd it you know and I got on my Facebook marketplace and I found me an amazing dresser. It was kind of long and it has lots of drawers and little cubby cupboards and cubby spaces in one of the drawers and I loved it. So it was an hour and a half drive, but we went and we bought it and we brought it back home and I painted it and Jim had put a nice um, big wooden top on here, which I'm gonna show you the full thing here in a minute. Um, he got this at the Home Depot and it has a, a slight overhang on the other side so I can make it in the, into a desk. And then all of the drawers and everything is in the front. So I'm going to kind of um, move around here and I'll tell you about this desk first. And I know this is kind of at a weird angle because I kind of have my camera up high. But you can kind of see all of the drawers here and um, let me see if I can show you this one. This is the drawer that has all the cubbies in it. And I thought this is great for like sewing notions and whatnot. So I put a lot of random things in here like tape and pins and uh, little little doohickeys for like making lanyards and, and different stuff. And then I have this drawer here that I have. I, I'm a huge rubber stamper. Um, I like to do some stamps like on tags and things when I go to sales. So I have all that in there. Um, rotary cutters, scissors and things here and then over here I have like paper and sweets and things in there I don't know if you can see over there so I'm just gonna kind of show you through my little drawers here I love this dresser because of all the additional space that it gives to put things in so this drawer here that I just opened has a lot of like sewing stuff sewing feet extra bobbins uh yeah there's a lot of boxes of sewing feet um sewing machine needles um embroidery machine um stuff oh let me tell you real quick about my embroidery machine i don't know if a lot of you have saw my sewing room tour and i have a singer futura uh embroidery machine that also sews and last year when i did my uh sewing room updated sewing room tour in here i was telling y'all that i lost the disc to this machine because it takes a disc and you have to put it in a computer or a laptop or whatever and i'd had it downloaded in an old laptop and then it crapped out on me and and I went to get the disc, I couldn't find it. Found an empty case and couldn't find it. So I lost the disc and I was gonna sell this machine this year and look for a new one or update it, I don't know. Well, Jim's come into the house last week and um, I was getting ready and he's like, honey, you're not gonna believe what I found. And I'm thinking, oh God, what, you know, what did he find? You know? So he come in and he holds up this dirty looking envelope with the Singer Futura disc in it. And I was like, oh my God where did you find this and uh it was in his garage so um how it got there and we'd lost it during the move when we moved into this house uh two years ago so how it ended up out there and how it ended on the shelf the you know he was he was hoeing out and cleaning out just like everybody else is you know new year you know refresh everything update so yeah so it is very fortunate that we found that so i'm super excited to maybe do some embroidery and um maybe a future video for that so that was really cool so I'm gonna get back to my desk here and um, hold on I think my dog wants in so let me just let him in this is real life in the farmhouse come on guys schnauzers come on they have to be in here with mommy so I want to get back and um, show you more features on this desk um, let's see the drawers here this drawer I have more of these like little 
fat quarter size stuff that I keep folded. And I have another um, shelf over here I'll tell you about that's just full. And I have some unfinished or working on projects in here as well. So I just kind of put them in there. Um, this drawer has some random bin of threads, some more tools, some other random stuff in here. I'm not really sure what to do with this drawer, so it's kind of a catch-all for right now. And you can see I painted this, this nice, um, it's a chalk paint, and I think it was called a, um, some kind of um, cream white or something. I'm not sure, it's very farmhousey. And this is just all white scraps um, I have put in this drawer, because I have a lot of them and they were in a basket. And um, I use a lot of whites for background fabrics and whatnot so, um, when I do quilts. Um, there is some little cupboards here, and I'll show you this one over here. This is a little cubby space, and I actually put a little basket in here, and I put all of my panels and things that I want to quilt in here. So that keeps them all organized in, in one, one place. And then um, this drawer over here, or this not drawer, this cupboard, which I'll show you, this little cubby right here. Um, this has a little pull-out drawer, and this has all of my special fabrics that... Um, I want to do something special with. I just don't know what yet, but they're really pretty. And some of them are coordinating and they're still in the bags from the quilt shop. And I say I'm going to get to them. There was another drawer that went here, but the front face was missing. So I just left it out and I thought it would just give extra room there. But this is a really great dresser for um, storing a lot of stuff that I had out in baskets and I just my floor space. This is a huge room in here, and I don't know how it filled up so fast, but it just seemed like it was getting crowded. So I really love this desk, and I'm going to kind of see here. This little mat here, um, I had an ironing table in here, but we just didn't have the space for it, so I took the top of it off. And since this is such a big desk, I figured I could put my my ironing board on the end here, and I had my Lisa iron, and I also got me a Riley Blake Taylor's Clapper because I am a piecer, um, my husband got me this for Christmas, and I was really excited. Um, I've been using it, and it works great. But uh, a nice ironing space here. So over here, I kind of had to move my cutting table over here, and this is kind of like a corner, but this is really my thing. I mean, I use this a lot uh, when I sew, and when my friends usually come here, I usually cut their stuff for them, but I have plenty of mats here that they can cut as well, so we have a lot of space. But this is my little space here for my my personal cutter that was built for me and then my drawer of tools and I even cleaned this out a little bit to make it better and then of course I have my bins underneath with all my strips and stuff and a little trash can and my scrap bin over here on the end so that really works out nice so my desk is over here now by the windows and I have my back to the windows but I love the natural light that comes in it just gives me nice light I'm still trying to figure out some things in this room like at night when I'm in here sewing I feel like I need a new light over the ceiling here because we have these um, two lights in here now that are fluorescent and they kind of glare so if you see me look like I've got dark spots or light um, it's just my lighting um, but I have my Husqvarna Viking all set up my light my little things I've got an extra mat here so people can cut and also, whoops, wrong drawer. I'm still getting used to these uh, extra cutters in here so somebody can cut and use a mat here with um, rulers. I got some small rulers in there. So, um, before we got the desk, um, me and my sister, <laughs> we uh, did some rearranging with my fabric shelves. So, these shelves were over on the back wall behind the quilter. And it seems like I had fabric here. And I had fabric back there, and I have these drawers, which I think I can show you those. These drawers, I, I've showed these in my, my sewing room tour, that these drawers are filled with little folds of like fat quarter size fabrics. They're all folded the same size, even in small pieces. If I can fold them all the same size, this is where I keep a lot of organized small pieces of fabric because I do utilize this drawer a lot when I sew or when I'm piecing stuff. So I really like this area now for when I sew because now I have my sewing desk, my cutting table over there, my ironing board, and all of my fabrics that I use most are right here. So me and my sister, we really had this room a mess because uh, she'd gotten home from visiting family over Christmas and when she came back, I was like, do you feel energized? I was like, because I got a big job. I was like, I need your help. So yeah. yeah, we took all of these fabrics off the shelves 
and we had to move them from behind the quilter and move them over here and I had an old sewing machine and I kind of put that back in the back corner and then the two brown shelves that were stacked here and I don't know if you see my sewing room tour you might know what I'm talking about but um they were two shelves so I unstacked them and I put them under my tv and I put all my utility fabrics on there that I don't use that often like duck flannel uh fleece um some bigger pieces and you know so Less used fabric is over there, you know, unless you're doing something for specialty. But all of my cottons and my pretties are over here. I've got my patterns. I rearranged a lot of my pictures because my room just got totally disrupted. So this space over here where my desk used to be, I have a blank wall here because I had my desk here and a wall shelf there. So what we're going to do with this space, um, and it's taken me a lot of thought to figure out what to do with this. But um, I've gotten these little metal corner things, and I don't have them up here. I don't know where I put them. But um, anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby, and they're like these little um, brackets. They're like metal wall brackets, and they're white. And I'm going to put one on either end of the wall, and I'm going to have a long shelf up here on top so I can put like my a lot of my little pretties. I have a lot of little pretties in my sewing room. I don't know, just because it makes me feel good to come in here and it looks nice. But my husband suggested underneath that shelf, maybe we should put some kind of like a hanger where I can make like a design wall or hang a quilt. And I thought, oh, that's a great idea. Um, I could hang a quilt here and show off or in future videos, which I want to have show off this year is a lot of blocks that I would like to show and and um, have you all create with me as well. So I think that will be a really fun thing to um, get like some flannel or something I can hang up here and I can throw some blocks up there and make it easy to film and show. This desk is going to be so much easier to um, show a lot of things that I'm going to make. Um, my last video I did do a show and tell of uh, some of the things I did like the little game, the match game I made out of felt and scrap fabrics. That is a real winner. Um, I took that to one of my uh, stitch groups and they loved the idea because it's great for kids. I made three sets of those for kids for Christmas and they were all a hit. So simple, nothing that costs money. Um, you just take what you got out of your scraps. Um, other things are a zip bag, which this is one similar. My sister threw this one together. I made a bigger one for my cousin who is a nurse and she wanted something to keep her stethoscope in. Um, this was the leftover pieces of the fabric that I cut, and my sister Glenda put this cute little bag together. Mine is pretty much the same with a red handle, but I put a red zipper on mine because I wanted to bring out the red accents. But I am going to do some upcoming tutorials on how to do these bags. They're very simple. Glenda, I've taught her, and she's got it down to a science. Um, another thing was the chubby charmer that I uh, showed in my last video, and I have it over here on my door. Um... I am, I'm going to do one of these for my mom and my friend Marlene wants to make one of these as well. So there is going to be an upcoming video on that as well. So I have a lot of things to um, show and tell. And I am going to get scheduled myself. I'm going to schedule myself to, to utilize my time better so I can get my videos more consistent. As I said, life is very busy here and I'm constantly interrupted. Um, I had started a video earlier, but I just didn't get it finished. And then my room got, you know, rearranged. So this is the afterwards. So there's still much work to be done with um, getting the shelf put up over here and maybe working on some lighting. I have some cords on the floor that I need to, uh, my husband's going to fix. He wanted to make sure I was comfortable in my position here. He is going to put a hole down in this um, top here so that my cords can go down in and we can kind of just tuck everything on, under the overhang, which will make it a lot simpler. So my room is improving. I'm much more organized and I'm ready to uh, show you some great upcoming videos. So I hope you stay tuned to my channel and keep watching. I'm sorry, I, I'm not very consistent, but this is a new year and I plan on um, uh, getting getting things in order, <laughs> so to speak. So it will be fun. So um, if you like this video um, and you're new, please like, please subscribe. I would love to have you. Uh, I am a passionate sewer and I have a lot of things that I want to share. I just need to get it out there for you all to enjoy. So hope you stick with me, stick with my channel. Have a great day. Happy New Year. And I will chat at you later. Bye.